Hi, my name is Jesse, and in this video, I'd like to show you how easy it is to record audio in Ableton Live. Before we get started, make sure that you've set up your external audio interface. If you haven't done so already, have a look at the first video in the Getting Started with Live 9 series. We'll start by creating a new live set. Go to the File menu and select New Set, or use the shortcut Ctrl N on Windows or Command N on a Mac. In Ableton Live, there are two views for recording audio, the Session view and the Arrangement view, which can be toggled with the Tab key. For this video, we're going to use the Session view. First, connect your instrument or microphone to your audio interface using the correct type of audio cable. Let's look at the in-out section of one audio. The in-out section is where we tell each track to look for an incoming audio signal. Since we are using a guitar, which is mono, we only need to select one mono input for this recording. To view the in-out section, click here in the right-hand corner. Now let's prepare a track for recording by clicking the arm button. And set the monitor switch to auto so that the track's input plays through live's output. Adjust the input gain on your audio interface. You may be hearing a delay from when you play an instrument to when you hear the audible result in live. This is called latency. To correct this, go to live's preferences by hitting Control comma on a PC or Command comma on a Mac. In the Audio tab, you can make the buffer size smaller. To find out how to optimize this setting, please have a look at the tutorial video at the end of the Getting Started with Live 9 series. Now, let's enable the metronome so we can record along to a click track. I'm also going to set a one bar count in. You do this in the pull down menu to the right of the metronome switch. To begin recording, click the slot record button. When you're done, press it again to play back the clip. I recorded three bars, which is too long, so I'm going to adjust the length of the clip to two bars. So now you've mastered audio recording basics in Ableton Live.